Have you ever wondered about what kind of strange and unknown creatures might be lurking about in the world undetected by science? Maybe even in your own backyard? Cryptozoology, the study of unknown and paranormal creatures, is largely considered fringe and pseudoscience at best. However, bizarre stories of encounters with undocumented and downright weird and scary animals are as old as time itself, though most of these stories are dismissed as mere fantasy. Eyewitnesses have chronicled tales of different cryptids that come in all shapes and sizes. According to some stories, some of these creatures may even possess supernatural or paranormal abilities. Skeptics in science largely deny the possibility that any of these creatures do exist, but what if these stories are based on a kernel of truth? Could there really be monsters out there? Most places in the world harbor strange tales of unidentified creatures, so today, we're going to take a look at the top five creepy cryptids of Ohio. Number five, the Carmel Area Creature. As one of the newer cryptids of Ohio, this strange creature was spotted one night by an anonymous 60-year-old ex-Marine and his wife. They were driving near Carmel, Ohio on the evening of December 12th, 2014. As they came up over a hill, the couple claimed to have seen a bizarre, seven-foot-tall creature like nothing they'd ever seen before. This thing was described as being bipedal, with long, muscular legs, gray skin, and curiously, it didn't appear to have arms. The witnesses were quoted as saying, We recently bought a place in the Fort Hill area in southeast Highland County. We first noticed after about 30 days of living there that we suddenly had a perfect circle that stays fresh green no matter what weather in our front yard. On Friday night, the 12th, we were driving home. After turning on Carmel Road, which leads to our road, we went around the curve by the Carmel Church and then up a small incline and approximately 10 feet over the incline and in front of our truck, the alien ran across the road and into the woods. Many have claimed this creature to be an alien, and others have likened it to be related in some way to a creature like the Fresno Nightcrawler of California. Others believe it could have simply been a deer or an animal rearing up on its hind legs. We'll never know, as this creature has not been spotted since. Number 4. The Mill Lake Monster Ohio is known for its aquatic inhabitants, and in 1959, three young men claimed to have a run-in with one of the strangest creatures ever documented. So strange, in fact, that many cryptid experts aren't sure how to explain it. Tucked between Cleveland and Columbus, Ohio, the Charles Mill Lake Reservoir was constructed in 1935. This reservoir had become known for its plentiful supply of catfish, and also, according to some, an unknown amphibious creature, which is said to lurk within its depths. On March 28, 1959, Denny Patterson, Wayne Armstrong, and Michael Lane reported that while hanging around near Ruggles Road, near the swampy shores of the reservoir, they had a close encounter with the unknown. They claimed to have witnessed a seven-foot-tall hairless being rise up from the murky waters right in front of them. According to the Columbus Navigator, the three boys described the beast as a huge armless humanoid with glowing green eyes and large webbed feet. This creature towered menacingly above the boys and then began to approach them. In that instant, the clearly terrified boys made a quick exit from the area and almost immediately reported the incident to the authorities. The only evidence found during the investigation were a series of tracks that resembled footgear worn by divers. Cryptozoologist Lauren Coleman weighed in on the case, stating that the Mill Lake Reservoir would certainly make a good home for a Black Lagoon-style beast. Coleman also noted that another nearby cryptid denizen of the area, a hairy humanoid called Orange Eyes, otherwise known as the Murfreesboro Mud Monster, is often intertwined with stories of the Mill Lake Monster, though Orange Eyes is typically reported as a kind of Bigfoot creature rather than a lake monster. So could there have been some strange and unknown creature lurking in the waters beneath Mill Lake Reservoir? Since 1959, there have been no further reports of this monster, but every once in a while, residents of the area still claim to discover strange and large tracks resembling webbed feet near the edge of the reservoir. Number three, Bessie. Though not named until the 1980s, this creature is known as one of Lake Erie's most iconic figures. According to eyewitness testimony, this lake monster has been spotted from the shores of Ohio and Pennsylvania 
all the way to Canada. Lake Erie is big. In fact, it's over 9,900 square miles, so surely there's bound to be a creature lurking in there, somewhere. The first known accounts of an unknown lake creature come from a report in 1793 off the coast of Sandusky when the captain of the boat Felicity reported to have startled a large snake-necked creature whose neck was more than 16 feet in length. In 1817, a different ship's crew reported seeing a 30 to 40 foot long serpent in the waters of Lake Erie. And later in that same year, another boat crew spotted a 60 foot creature who they shot at with muskets, though it seemingly had no effect on the creature at all. A third incident took place in that same year of 1817, when two French brothers who were settling in the region encountered a strange monstrous creature writhing on the beach shore of Lake Erie. It was between 20 and 30 feet in length, resembling an overgrown sturgeon. It appeared that it was in its death throes. However, this terrified the brothers and they fled the scene, not knowing what it was that they were looking at. When they returned later, the creature was gone. In the 20th century, sightings of Bessie kept piling up. Throughout the 1960s, several residents who lived near the shores of Lake Erie reported witnessing a large serpentine creature poking its head out of the water near land. Others described seeing the long-necked creature pull itself onto land with four flippers to rest on a nearby beach in the broad daylight. Between the 80s and 90s, many more sightings were reported and some witnesses claimed the creature was so large that it could capsize a boat, describing it as being 40 to 50 feet long and colored a greenish brown with a long neck. Others witnessed a series of humps protruding from the water with some experienced fishermen claiming that it definitely wasn't a sturgeon or any known fish. In 1989, a fish finder, Sonar, detected a large cigar-shaped apparition that was 30 feet long a mere 30 feet under the surface of the lake. There is an ongoing $100,000 reward for the capture of this strange beast that seems to be living in Lake Erie, but to this date, it has not been claimed. All of these witness reports seem to suggest that there is something going on there, perhaps an unknown creature, or even a population of them making their home within Lake Erie. This deep and large body of water is certainly large enough to host many secrets. Could one of them be that it harbors an unknown, perhaps surviving ancient species of sea creature? We may never know. Number 2. The Loveland Frogman This oversized amphibian made its first appearance in 1955 along the Little Miami River in Loveland, Ohio. Just before 4 a.m., as a businessman was driving down the road following the river, he witnessed three strange humanoid-looking creatures on the side of the road. Thinking these were people needing help, he pulled his car over to see what was going on. However, the man soon realized that what he was looking at wasn't human. He pulled back onto the road and drove away. What he saw was described as four foot tall creatures with webbed hands and feet, along with a leathery green skin. To top it off, their faces looked like they belonged to frogs. The largest of the trio seemed to be holding some kind of wand or device over its head, which began to emit sparks as he approached. Stories of these strange frog-like creatures went away for the better part of the next two decades. However, on March 3rd, 1972, a strange giant frog-like being was reported again in Loveland, Ohio, this time by a police officer named Mark Matthews. The officer was on patrol late that evening along the Little Miami River when suddenly a three-foot-tall creature jumped into the road in front of his patrol car, all while on two legs. This thing then jumped over the guardrail that led down to the river. Two weeks later, Officer Matthews saw the creature yet again, but this time it was lying in the middle of the road. Matthews thought it was simply a dead animal that needed to be cleared off the road, but when he got out of his car to investigate and approached the body, it sprung to life and leapt across the road. Matthews attempted to fire on the creature, but missed before it escaped into the woods. Many believe that Matthews' story was simply describing an escaped pet iguana, and Matthews himself in a 2001 interview believed the media sensation from his 1973 story was blown way out of proportion, and this seemed to confirm theories that it was just a pet lizard that he had encountered. 
If Matthew's encounter is explainable, what of the businessman's story from 1955, where he had claimed to witness a group of wand-wielding humanoid frogs seen along the Little Miami River in the quaint town of Loveland, Ohio? It seems as though sightings of the Loveland Frogman are still occurring to this day. As recently as 2016, a young teenager named Sam Jacobs and his girlfriend claimed to have spotted a huge frog in the waters of Lake Isabella in Loveland, Ohio. The two teens witnessed it rear up on its hind legs, similar to descriptions of the Loveland Frogman in decades past. Jacobs even managed to get some pictures and a video, though with the low light situation you can't really make out any details other than what appears to be a large set of glowing eyes. Jacobs knows what he saw, and though people think he's crazy, he was willing to stake his reputation on the validity of his encounter. Could it have been a case of misidentification? A hoax? It's up to you to decide. Number 1. The Ohio Grassman Otherwise known as the Kenmore Grassman or Orange Eyes, this 6-8 to eight foot tall, bipedal, hairy hominoid is said to stalk the forests of Ohio. This creature is often thought to be related to Bigfoot, but it is said to be a far more aggressive type than others out there. The Grassman gets its name from strange nests that are found all over Ohio in the woods, made out of tall grass, which are not too dissimilar from tree branch structures and nests attributed to being made by Bigfoot elsewhere in the world. The first known sighting of the Grassman occurred in the town of Minerva, Ohio in August of 1978. The Clayton family lived in this small Ohio town and one day during the summer their dog was found dead with a snapped neck. A few days later, the grandchildren of Evelyn and Howie Clayton, along with some friends, ran into their grandparents' house screaming on this warm summer day about a hairy monster lurking in the nearby gravel trash pit. When the Claytons went to investigate, they saw the creature. This thing was covered in dark matted hair and seemed to be sifting through the trash within the pit. They estimated this beast to be in upwards of 300 pounds or more and promptly decided to get out of the area. This encounter, however, would not be the Clayton's last. In another incident sometime later, the monster was spotted peering into their home through the kitchen window. Howie sprung into action and ran to retrieve his gun, but by the time he was locked and loaded, the creature had vanished. The police were called and they came out to investigate, but by the time they arrived at the scene, the creature was long gone. The police did, however, manage to find a series of faint footprints in the mud, along with a lingering foul smell in the air. In another encounter, the Claytons once again spotted some strange hairy hominoid creature on top of a hill near the local strip mine during the evening. Then again, a month later, the Claytons witnessed two hairy creatures on that same hill during the daytime. The Claytons began to piece together that perhaps these creatures may have been responsible for killing their dog just days before the gravel pit incident when they first encountered one of these beings. Legends of these strange hairy hominoid creatures date back generations, and in the 1700s it was known that Native American tribes of the area spoke of a race of bipedal ape men called the Wild Ones of the Woods. Food would be left out as a way to maintain peace between these creatures and the local tribes of the time. So could the Clayton story be true? Well, legends of hairy relic hominoids come from every corner of the globe, so it is possible that something ancient is lurking just within the woods of Ohio. Alright, that was my list of the top 5 creepy cryptids of Ohio. What do you think of these cryptids? And which one is your favorite? Were there any Ohio cryptids that I missed that you'd love to hear about in the future? Or other collections of state cryptids or strange topics you'd like me to cover? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and smash that bell icon for notifications on future episodes. Also, be sure to check out my socials and my website linked below. And until next time, take care of yourselves and each other, and keep it strange.